Let's take a look at the skills we're going to need for the political ad project. There's basically three skills that we're going to have to acquire using Apple Motion. Number one is the ability to use text with text behaviors. Number two is the ability to use basic particle emitters. And number three is the ability to manipulate motion with a 3D camera. Now these get progressively harder as we work from text to particle emitter to the 3D camera and so we'll just tackle them one at a time right here. First starting in the project browser, uh, the template browser that opens when you start motion. Um, we're making a 1080 full HD project. Uh, we actually want it to be 30 seconds long so if I type 30 followed by a period that'll make sure it's 30 seconds and I can hit enter that'll start me on a new project. So the easiest thing we're gonna have to do is create text and manipulate that text with the built-in behaviors. Uh, the first thing I want to notice is that when I have the default arrow tool is that I can't even really see the whole screen in here so I'm going to use the shortcut shift Z what that does is that uh, fits the window into the allotted space. T is the text tool and in this case uh, what you see is what you get. Uh, escape will get you out of that text tool. Here's our first shortcut to learn there is a little screen that can pop up and give us all sorts of information and it's called the heads up display. Sounds kind of fancy. Uh, if we hit the letter D, that brings up the heads up display. I like to call this the dashboard. Uh, so from here you can change the size of the text. Uh, you can change the font if you would like. Um, you can pick some built-in styles, but you can get most of the text controls right there in that dashboard or the heads up display. From here though we want our text to do something and we accomplish that by using text behaviors. Over here in the library you'll find behaviors. At the bottom of the behaviors you'll see text animation and you'll see text sequence. Uh, go ahead and click on text sequence and you can work your way through a whole slew of options. Uh, when you click one you can see the sample of, of exactly what's going to happen right up there in the upper corner of the screen. So I'm going to go with a simple blur in and blur out. What I want to do is drag and drop that over here. That's just one of the many ways you can get that text behavior added. If I command Z to undo that, I can drop it onto uh, the timeline, straight onto the timeline. I can command Z to undo that. I can drop it straight onto the text itself in the middle of the canvas. And I can even try to drop it down here under the text in the timeline. So that gives you an idea of how that text blur effect will work. Notice that that is its own clip or region within the timeline and you can extend the time of that as you want. So I'm going to add the blur out effect and again I could add that any way I want. Well it doesn't make a lot of sense to put it there so I'm going to want to drag it to the end and if I hold down shift that will uh, lock in with snapping to the end of the timeline. So I can check these really quick and decide if that's what I want my project to look like. Spacebar, simple blur in and a blur out. In the next video we're going to take a look at particle emitters.